welcome back to Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. We're here in Glitzville, a very, well, dare I say, glitzy place. You and, and your uh, wordplay. Oh, yes, I, 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 I'm quite the wordster. Well, here we're going to probably take in, uh, partake in one of the most unique chapters in Mario history. Oh, yeah? In most Mario games, you expect to see, you know, grassland, sand, jungle, poison, you know, sky, whatever. You wouldn't think that Professional Wrestling League would be one of them. No way. Way. Alright! Get some variety up in here! And this mouse is here as well, probably, no doubt, up to no good. My question is, what is she doing here? Stealing the hearts of all the men. Oh, of course. Oh, look at that toad! Oh no, you're smashing. <laughs> I am, in fact, a hunk of man. Look at me in my hunkiness. So everybody's going crazy for this rock hawk guy, huh? Mosh pit, mosh pit, mosh pit. <laughs> oh, damn. And they say wrestling's fake. Oh, pincushion. Ah, you just murdered him with that. Wimpy. Excuse me, 911, I'd like to report a murder. Guy does one dropkick and he goes on seven diatribes of trash talking. <laughs> well, you should have seen how many paragraphs he had to say about the guy he just literally pushed over. Oh, God. Rockhawk? More like Talkhawk! <laughs> oh! Oh, at least he's good with the press. Hey, wait a minute. <laughs> uh, we talking 2D or 3D? Because I'm better at one of them. Hybrid! Damn it. I'm not good at Pokémon Tournament. What? Oh, hey, there it is. So that's the entirety of the chapter is to beat that guy. Yep. I mean, it sounds pretty obvious. We need to work our way from the bottom and make our way to the top and take on the champ and take his belt. Sounds pretty easy. Yeah! Yeah, it's obvious. We gotta battle our way to the top. So, how do we become a fighter? It's gonna be our next quest, I guess. Crack a few heads, take a few names. Uh, secretly, Goombella's out for blood. She's not playing around. Neither are we. I'd like so to think that Goombella's the type to watch, like, TV fighting and gets all, like, riled up and is just like, Yeah, get him! Big MMA, you know, fan. <laughs> Crowd, back up! Oh, jeez. What do you care? Oh, I love that. A Goomba and a Babam fighting. And it looks like they're both impervious to damage. They're equally matched. Look at them! An unstoppable object meets an unmovable force. Or, did I get that backwards? Immovable force. It, uh, hold on a sec. Thing that go uh, really fast uh, versus thing that can't that really really heavy. Unstoppable force versus immovable object. There we go. Put me in, coach. I'm ready. We gotta sign up first. I mean, we have to become a fighter in order to actually be part of the league. <laughs> I'd like to think that Mario is just constantly going up to each of these security guards. Put me in, coach. I'm ready. Uh, sir. <laughs> I'm ready. Put me in, the coach. <laughs> Put me in, coach!
So we gotta talk to Mr. Grubba if you want to be a fighter. Yeah, I'm one rude dude. Can that just be my tagline for this entire fighting arc? The one rude dude. Raring to die! You know, I've always wondered, Mario's kind of a famous dude, right? I'd say so. Why doesn't everyone know him? I guess it just proves how far out we are. I mean, technically we are in the clouds. But I mean, like out in Rogueport, it's like three worlds away, basically. Well, that's true. I mean, we've been hanging out mostly in the Mushroom Kingdom. We are going to, like, different countries, like Bean Kingdom and uh, everywhere else we go yeah. in the Mario and Luigi sagas. Okay, okay. But hey, at least in the Bean Bean Kingdom, the the guards that <laughs> they had us jump over a jump rope to make sure they realize that we are the genuine article. That's TSA screening for you. Yeah, I know you're that awesome Mario dude, but just in case, can you jump over this jump rope for us? Been randomly selected for a jump screening. This is the champion's room. Oh, we become we're... champion. This room becomes ours. Oh, he got my hopes up. I thought we were already the champion. Oh no, we gotta work for it. Darn it. Oh, here's, boo. Here's where the major leaguers stay. Bleh. With everybody else. Major or minor? Major. Oh, that guy's got a hammer. We start at the minor leagues. No. I have the <clears throat> oh, yeah, I knew that was coming. Contract. Mmm. Oh, sign me up. Alright, we signed the contract. Our life is now theirs. <laughs> so we are no longer Mario, famed hero to all. We are now the Great Gonzalez. Strike fear into the hearts of Koopas. Oh, I thought he was calling me Jolene. <laughs> but you I got five nicknames, son! I thought I was the Great Gonzalez, sir! This is our newest victim. I mean, uh, fighter. I mean, punching bag. I mean, pincushion. I mean... Those are your three other nicknames, son. They build character! <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. You are so dead. I mean, uh, welcome aboard! You are fucked. <laughs> That's Nintendo's one fuck. Nintendo's on the special crossroad from T to M. They get one. So whatever Grubba says goes. Yeah, this is where we'll be staying. Welcome to the slums. Oh, that didn't seem too hard. You gotta claw your way to the top. I mean, we're fucking Mario after all on top of the bones of your victims.
Excuse Single me, gun. Mr. Uh, Great Gonzalez. The only way to apply for a new match is to attach the Game Boy player to the bottom of your GameCube. <laughs> oh, no. I'm sorry, man, but you're not getting a match anytime soon. You have to insert a Neo Geo power pad in order to... What? I'm sorry, this part of the game only works with a Game Boy camera? Please slide in your Joy-Con into the GameCube port. It's like, what's a Joy-Con? What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> By the way, did you know how difficult it actually is to get a Game Boy Advance player and the disc together? It's harder to get than uh, the, the cables, which I thought would be harder to get. Yeah, because nobody sells the player and the disc at the same time. They always sell them separately for some reason. Or they lose the disc. Guess it's back to good old-fashioned emulation. Well, and that's the funny part. The only reason you need the disc is just to start the game. As, as soon as it starts up and it realizes that that's a Game Boy player, you can take the disc out. If only there was, like, you know, a reproduction disc to make the GameCube go, Oh, yeah, okay. That would be so amazing. Like... A uh, few years ago, there were repo carts of the um, Nintendo World Championship, just for collectors, just to say they had it on their shelf. It's not mm -hmm. the official article, but it's still something to say, hey, you've got Nintendo World Championship on here, and you can get it for, like, 50 bucks. Probably makes the real ones that much more valuable. $10,000 or more! So, essentially, what this chapter is going to be is a series of fights to get to the top, to fight the champ, to get the belt, to get the star. And every single fight has a special stipulation attached to it. We get extra money and we can move up the ranks if we do whatever Grubba decides is best for the match. So the first match is against the Goomba Brothers, the uh, Glass Joe of the League, if you were. It's basically just five Goombas. Haven't we had to fight these guys before? Oh no, those are the Goomba cousins. Oh, excuse me. Cocky little freak. And then steps Gonzalez. Uh, excuse me, Grubba, I do, in fact, own this place. You're in my house now! No oh, shit! What?! Oh, what a dirty fighter! Nope! That was nice! Good job! So we gotta to appeal to the crowd at least once. Yeah, we can do that. Okay. <laughs> Gumbella, please, they're your own guys. Alright, so, uh, let's see. We gotta appeal once. So let's do this. Uh. Okay. Hmm. The better idea popped into my head as I'm watching over this footage, but. Uh, yeah, hey, at least Mario I was, I was thinking, yeah, have Goombella do it and then use the, the Earth Shaker or whatever it's called. I love Mario's face when he gets hit. Oh! <laughs> oh no! Mario's such a prima donna. Well, not much muscled, so he uh, doesn't have a high tolerance for pain. Oh, that's true. Oh there man, that is, that is worthy of the great Gonzalez right there for that one experience point. <laughs> one, huh? Yeah, we are in the minor leagues. Uh, excuse me, can somebody call an ambulance for these losers? That fight, what a joke. Talking trash. Yay, I did it. Go me. What do you think the confetti budget for this entire arena is? It's the same confetti they've used since 1983. But somebody's got to clean that up. They just sweep it into a bucket and then hoist it back up. <laughs> there is one guy with the job description, Confetti Pourer. 
And then the confetti cleaner, he just gets paid double what the confetti pourer gets. <laughs> now, we started with about 512 pieces of confetti in 1983. Then we doubled up uh, the, uh, how much confetti we normally use in uh, 1992. But uh, in about 1997, uh, we lost about three pieces because uh, some guy took them home as souvenirs. And, of course, uh, the 12 that got caught in people's hair is in a span from 1987 to 1999 as well. And, uh, well, we're using a different type of material for most of the confetti now that we started implementing in around 2013. And uh, that's uh, really kind of sliding up of people a lot easier. So uh, at, at some point, we presume by uh, the year uh, 2035, that all of the confetti will be replaced with this synthetic material to avoid uh, any any particular losses. And the guy holding the bucket up with all the confetti is like, Hashtag confetti facts! I'm a confettiologist, please. <laughs> I love this guy. You can't climb the bop! an explosive verbal tech. I guess it's Turret's Syndrome. Mm. Ow. I was gonna uh, say something like Torpedo Ted Syndrome, but that doesn't work. I'm just rifle with humor. Ah! Grack. <laughs> I really do like these... these different... I, what would these... These would be ticks, right? I, I guess. It's either that or they're just onomatopoeias for them talking. Let's check out the rankings. Uh, oh, jeez. Pokey triplets, dead bones. Oh, man, that's a, that's a lot of people there. And at the top is Rockhawk. Craw well, Daddy? <laughs> well, we, we got a lot of fights to get through, so... Uh, I guess we'll just take a rest and move on to the next one. Show me that craw, daddy! Give me that match, grubba bubby. Grubba bubbles. The KP coupons. What do you think KP stands for? Kill points. Yeah. Kangaroo pouches. Knife placers. Kangaskhan party. Cool people. <laughs> <laughs> or if you want to go meta, kill plane. Kilopeters. <laughs> anyway, the KP Koopas! Oh, wait, it means Koopa, duh. Oh, God! I didn't even think of that! So, wait, that means their group is the Koopa Koopas? Yeah, but we had to change it due to copyright. <laughs> Koopa, right? <laughs> Oh, fuck. So don't use special moves. We got full star power, but we can't use it. That's fine. But what can we do in the meantime? I guess I'll just jump on this douche. What a douche. Yeah, I'll have Goombella tattle. Just for the hell of it. <laughs> Slightly different color. All of a sudden, a new genus. It's yellow! Well, you know, this is how we find different phylums of animals in the in the forests. It's like, it has a slightly different eye structure. New species! Oh well, yeah, that's how it works. What makes them a different species? The differences. Oh. I mean, is it just a freak mutation? Or is it an actual selection of nature? So I just realized that cameraman that's supposedly showing off the fight is a little drunk, because I think he just now focused on the Koopa Koopas. What do you mean? Well, 
<laughs> oh, was a, I, oh, the, 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 yeah, the there, Titan there we Tron go. back there. Yeah, th there was a point where that cameraman was up in the top right-hand corner, filming nothing. <laughs> he's, he's doing the infinity tunnel effect. He needs to move away. Oh. He's actually looking for himself in the, in the Technotron. <laughs> where am I? Look, I Ma! Could, I'm I gotta on TV. find me! I mean, I'm the cameraman. I, I'll just point it at the mirror. <laughs> it's me a million bazillion times. Whoa! Yeah, nothing too hard. We can take this, no problem. So these are all, like, legit fights that you have to do to advance the story, correct? Oh, yes. So there's no, like, and so Mario battled his way to the major leagues. Nope, we have to do every single fight legitimately. Is this padding? I don't think so. For the story will unfold around the fights. Okay. You can hide in a locker, Metal Gear Solid 2 style. Oh, but there's no Japanese model on it. I'm calling that a Twin Snakes reference. Have you ever played the Twin Snakes? No, I haven't. I got to looking at a, uh, ironically, a Let's Play of Twin Snakes. And, uh, my god, did they do some weird stuff. Yeah, Com they did. Because it's written by someone who's not Hideo Kojima. Well, it's just... A lot of the cutscenes add, like, whoosh sound effects and make them overly dramatic. Uh-huh. Even though it's essentially a shot-for-shot -shot remake, kinda. A couple things changed. But it's just, like, a cutscene in the original Metal Gear Solid that was just, like... You know, holding up a gun to a cyber ninja... All of a sudden, it's just like, you dodge out of the way of the blade. It lacks the subtlety that the original had. They made, they gotta make Snake look more cool. Yeah. <laughs> As he Matrix dodges bullets. By the well, way, I've, that game is expensive. Just throwing that out there. I have a theory that the Matrix ruined Metal Gear Solid 2. <laughs> I would say that, yeah. It makes sense. He. Kojima watched The Matrix, and it's like, OH, I GOTTA MAKE MY GAME OUT OF THIS! And he scrapped whatever idea he had for the tanker chapter. Or, yeah. Although that did lead to- actually, there were a lot of problems with Metal Gear Solid 2. That's why about three-fourths of all the cutscenes are actually codec calls. Yeah. But hey, it at least led to one of the best lines, I need scissors. 61. 61? I think so. So yeah, a bunch of cactuses, not that hard. Oh! The stage is in our favor. <laughs> if the stage actually turns out to be an audience member, I will laugh. Oh, there that was it? <laughs> that was it. Oh. Well, okay. Go team. I know Mario is the most important person in the in these fight challenges, but hey, Grubba, can you at least say "and friends" at the end of Great Gonzalez? Well, it's like you know, the one guy is is all the people, like you know, the band Rob Zombie, and uh, you know, Dave oh, Matthews okay. Band, Henry Rollins, you know. Well, in that case, I think Mario should become like an entity, like he should get an LLC for the Great Gonzalez. <laughs> Great Gonzalez Inc. trademark. <laughs> Every time Grubba signs you onto a new contract, he has to he has to make sure it's okay with your lawyers because you took out a, a trademark on it. It's either that or he could just abbreviate it, say GG. That's definitely copyrighted over something, I'm sure. Is GG copyrighted? Uh, probably. You got me curious. You got me curious. Or maybe this is like one of those situations like the Happy Birthday song. I mean, it's Jet Set Radio. You know, the, the gang that you are a part of is called the GGs. Hmm. GG means good game. 
So nobody can technically copyright that, right? And it means good grandmas. Anyway, let's move on to the next match. Good grandmas? Yeah. Or, you know, good god. The dead bones. Glitz and glamour. Don't use any fla- oh, great. Oh, fun. Don't need hmm. none of them fancy pants moves. Uh, okay, I guess I'll have Goombella's uh, increased attack power to help me out on that one. Let's do it! Every time Mario does his, like, little salute there, I always assume he's just trying to backhand the person he's talking to. <laughs> Got the way! The merciless executioner! The copywritten Great Gonzalez! Ah! Ugh, that's dark. That is some true smack talk from a zombified team. You guys are gross and morbid. I need to take care of you guys quickly. Alright, no flower points. What can we do? <laughs> can, can we get a little bit of smack talk from these, uh, from these... Uh, oh my god, dry bones, thank you. We've got a bone to pick with you! Hey! You're not gonna feel good to marrow! It's no Fibia! You're gonna die! I'm just gonna let you keep going. How many bones do you actually know? Do you feel warm? You must have a really high femur! <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 they, just, just, they, just get, they just get worse and worse. It's like, you're gonna be hurting! I'm t we're telling you! <laughs> you know, I joined in this conversation, but I d don't want to ruin the meta, Carpels. Until it doesn't make any sense. You're gonna be f phalanges! And then the third guy, who's not that good with words, he just yells from the background, SKULL! Well, that's the thing about these puns, they're gluteal-free. That sounds like someone's hurt. I, I think he might be dying. Also, did I seriously just see in an in a Nintendo game? Do we have a gag to keep him from screaming? Oh, where where where'd that guy go? Came this way, then he was thrown into the garbage. Yeah. Uh. There oh. you go. Oh my God! They did hey. mosh. Get out of the way! Get out of the way! Get out of the way! Come on! Come on! Hey, Rockhawk! I may just be a lonely minor leaguer, but I'm gonna beat the crap out of you one day! I'm gonna clip your wings! I'm gonna make chicken wings out of you! I'm gonna bite your cock off! <laughs> You're Rockhawk. <laughs> Don't say Rockhawk too quickly, otherwise you'll get a completely different meaning. At least we got one fan. Uh, I was gonna ask, can we actually get rid of the entire crowd? They come back. Aw, oh, damn it. Are, they always come back. They always come back for the Rock Hawk! If you smell a <laughs> cock <laughs> is cooking. <laughs> and with that, okay. Okay. we're okay. done, <laughs> we're done. We'll see you next time on Let's Play Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. More minor league goodness. See you then.